he sees Watson crowned, immediately unleashes hell. The liberal media never lets up on their nasty barrage of fake news against our president. Now bored with their Trump-Russia collusion nonsense, they're now using the Charlottesville incident to falsely paint Trump as a KKK and white supremacist. As the rabid liberal media camped out in the back of Trump's speech in Phoenix last night looking for a way to spin his words into headlines for their propaganda the following day, the rally came to a screeching halt after the shocking thing Trump caught these liberals doing in the back of the conference hall. President Trump's politically incorrect style and his no-nonsense approach to dealing with establishment politicians and the crooked media is why he kicked Hillary's ass so hard during the presidential election. The voices of the American people were heard at the ballot box, and now we have a president who genuinely seeks to make our country great again and who's not using the office of the presidency to pursue his own political agenda. Ever since he won the election by a landslide, the liberal media have been frantic to do everything in their power to bring him down, peddling their fake lies and propaganda in order to get their base violently opposing him at every turn. Following the Charlottesville incident, liberal media outlets have have been falsely portraying Trump as a white supremacist, labeling him Hitler as they shamelessly peddle lies to make him look like a racist ass. So during his speech in Phoenix Tuesday night, Trump decided to call the liberal media, putting them on blast with a fiery tirade. But it was what the liberal media and the audience did immediately following Trump's verbal tongue lashing that will leave you in complete shock. Here's Trump's words that got their panties in a wad. It's time to expose the crooked media deceptions, and to challenge the media for their role in fomenting divisions, Trump began. And yes, by the way, and yes, by the way, they are trying to take away our history and our heritage. You see that? These are truly dishonest people. And not all of them. Not all of them. You have some very good reporters. You have some very fair journalists. But for the most part, honestly. These are really, really dishonest people, and they're bad people. And I really think they don't like our country. I really believe that. And I don't believe they're going to change, and that's why I do this. If they would change, I would never say it. The only people giving a platform to these hate groups is the media itself, and the fake news. But immediately following Trump's words, the president looked at the cameras pointing at him, and realized that CNN, MSNBC, and some of the other media outlets cut the live feed, as they were frantic to keep their liberal audience from hearing the actual truth. That's when Trump stopped the rally, going off the teleprompter to give liberals a verbal tongue lashing they'd never forget. Oh, that's so funny. Look back there, the live red lights. They're turning those suckers off fast out there. They're turning those lights off fast. Like CNN. CNN does not want its falling viewership to watch what I'm saying tonight, I can tell you. I mean, the advantage I have, the advantage I have is that we do have a big voice. And you know, they're always saying, like Twitter or social media, if I didn't have social media, I wouldn't be able to get the word out. I probably wouldn't be standing here, right? I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. You would think. You would think they'd want to make our country great again, and I honestly believe they don't. I honestly believe it. Hell yeah. It's awesome that Trump is making these liberals eat their words and calling them out for censoring the truth of Charlottesville. Of course these liberal morons will continue to spew their sick propaganda about Trump being a white supremacist, while ignoring the startling accomplishments he's already made as president just since January. Since he took office. Unemployment at a 17-year low, economic growth has surged by 2.6 percent, the Dow is hitting record highs, and Trump has added more than 1 million jobs in the private sector. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.